for watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this video is on how to embed and play a composer player file inside Adobe PDF, either the free reader, writer, or the professional. I'm going to show you how to do it with the reader, and I'll show you the software DLLs that are needed and the steps that are needed to be taken in order to make this a success. To start off with, I just really want to show you a PDF file that actually has Composer's live content embedded in it. And what advantage is you can see by using this. This would be a, a standard PDF file with a 3D image in it. When I click, it actually takes this 3D image and brings it to life. So whatever content I had in Composer, I can see live in here, zooming in and out, using exploded views, navigating through content and seeing how interactive it is. Like by clicking on the parts list, I can see which part this is. I can navigate by clicking on content and digging down deeper. I can get further part numbers. So to utilize all this content on something like an assembly floor, I might want to be able to go in and show somebody how to take something apart or put it together. So I might want to be able to play animation right inside of the PDF file as well. So PDF could be a standard output for this type of content, whether it's inside of business or used for a customer. So let me go in and show you the steps and the software that's needed in order to put this together. First off, what's actually going on in here is this is the free player, composer player in here. And what I'm going to do is show you where you can get that. You can actually go to the SolidWorks.com website or 3DS to get the 3D via composer player or the SolidWorks composer player. It's really the same player. Or you can go to your SolidWorks downloads directory. If you've gone to your SolidWorks downloads directory, or your SOLIDWORKS disk and you look on the disk from 2014 and above for 2015 it's on the downloads it's called the SOLIDWORKS Composer Player and if you go in there and double click the setup file it's a free piece of software that you can install on anybody's system anybody viewing this PDF file in this manner would need that installed the other two things that you need to do are you need to go into this SOLIDWORKS Corporation, SOLIDWORKS Composer, Plugins, Acrobat, Reader, Plugins directory. Okay, if you were using the writer, you could do the same thing with the writer. But I'm doing it with the reader, so I'm going to go through this video showing you the, the reader. You have to take these four files from this SOLIDWORKS Corp. SOLIDWORKS Composer, Plugins, Acrobat, Reader, Plugins directory, and you have to copy these to your Adobe directory. So your Adobe Plugins directory is the directory you need to copy them to. That's generally found under your C drive, under Program Files 86, Adobe, the reader type you are, whatever it is, if it was 11 or 12, it doesn't matter, it works in both or if it was the writer, same thing. You go into the directory with the plugins. Under Reader, it's Reader Plugins. And you copy these four files into this plugins directory. Okay. One last thing that you'll really need to double check is under your preferences in Adobe. Make sure that Adobe's starting with Enable Protected Mode unchecked or turned off. So it's not enabled at startup. That's important to make sure everything works right. And from there, it's really pretty easy. All we're doing to create the file inside of Composer is actually going into the Composer and saying publish PDF just like we normally do. But rather than publishing a 3D PDF, we're going to publish the SMG version, in other words, the Composer Player version. That gets it embedded into the PDF template. For more on embedding documents from PDF, 
Also watch our other animations on PDFs on our Go Engineer website. Thanks for watching another quick tip video on Go Engineer.